Say, hey, man. Hey, man, where my motherfucking comb at, man? Get this shit right, man. Say, man. What you doing, man? Keep my shit picked up, man. It's your boy, Hatem, and I'm back, baby. Yeah, me and my girls, man. Yeah, I'm, uh... <laughs> what it do? Carlos was handy with it, baby. Yeah. At least what out with it. Yeah, good morning. Your boy hate him is back. Can fuck what it do. Yeah, Tim. My man Quentin Gary. What up with it, G? Okay, man. Let's talk about it, man. You know what I'm saying? Good morning, Miss Stephanie. Yeah. Yeah, man. Orlando, what it do? Say, man, my motherfucking wig ain't cooperate, man. I got to get my little shit done, man. Anybody know a good Afro specialist? Get my shit right, man. Yeah. Um, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. Check this out, man. It's your boy hate him and he back, man. Didn't I tell y'all motherfuckers hate him for president? Oh, but no. Y'all want to hate on old hate him, huh? I've been telling y'all hate him for president for the longest. And see what y'all didn't know? My name was on the ballot. You know what I'm saying? Y'all so fucked up behind Donald and Hillary, you couldn't see your boy winning the president, man. You feel what I'm saying? Oh, it's too late now. It's too late, Martell, talking about President Hater. You feel what I'm saying? I gave y'all action at President Hater, babe. You, you feel what I'm saying? I've been telling y'all Donald was going to win this shit from the beginning if y'all didn't vote for your boy, man. You feel what I'm saying? So now, guess what? When your motherfucking ass, you know what I'm saying, when he take all your bread, when he kick you in your ass, you feel what I'm saying? Oh, he going to do a whole bunch of shit, man. Yeah, you better hope your motherfucking African co uh, papers is right, because if not, you're going back to Africa, man. Oh, Donald Trump ain't playing no games with y'all. It's, it's over with for you niggas, man. It's completely over with, man. You feel what I'm saying? He is not having that. Y'all is done, man. You feel what I'm saying? He gave y'all, hate him, told y'all, hate him for president, man. But no, y'all ain't want to listen, man. Y'all had your own agenda. You, you know what I'm saying? You're you doing your own thing. So don't be mad because Donald got it. Yeah. And understand this. All of y'all that went and bought them, I voted stickers. Yeah, my man had them for $5. Don't act like you went and voted. He had them on sale for the whole five. You feel what I'm saying? Some of y'all bought them, I, I voted stickers for the five and seven dollars to try to act like you patriotic. No damn well, you can't, how you gonna, how you gonna go vote? You can't even read. You feel what I'm saying? You gotta be able to read to go in there and punch the little thing to vote. You feel what I'm saying? So all of y'all with the, they bought the stickers. Is that what y'all did was bought the stickers, man? You feel what I'm saying? And don't think I ain't been watching all this stuff y'all been doing on Facebook, all the buffoonery y'all been doing. Man, listen here, man. A lot of stuff y'all been getting away with. I just been laying low because I was working on my campaign. You feel what I'm saying? But now that, now that it's over with, now that y'all didn't vote for me, y'all voted for Donald Trump, I can get back to business, man. I can get back to telling the truth about all you suckers, man. You feel what I'm saying? On Facebook with all your little emotional problems. Did you see the one? From the girl from Atlanta, man, when she was talking bad about the boy and put all his business out there, and then two weeks later, they right back together. You feel what I'm saying? Did you see that? They, I mean, she put all the boy business out there, put his financial records out there, did all that. He wasn't shit, wasn't all his put up, called the police, he had warrants and all that, and then came right back, and they was together again. Well, what that girl name was? They put all the boy business out there, and two weeks later they were back together. I'm not fooling with you. Yeah, yeah, that, that, yeah, them right there, man. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? With that one. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm glad we got. Uh, I'm glad we got a few people on here, man. Then let me tell you about Houston, man. Oh my goodness. Oh my Houston, y'all, y'all really need to cut it out, man. Y'all really, need, all of y'all is riding around. You feel what I'm saying? Seeing some of the shit that I seen, man. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all ain't nowhere in the world y'all can tell me that y'all does not see old boy with them big ass six by nines carpeted enclosed speakers in a coffin. You feel what I'm saying? Hanging from his handlebars. You feel what I'm saying? And y'all riding with him like everything is good, man. 
Y'all really, Houston, let me tell y'all something. Let me, let me show y'all what kind of friends y'all is, man. Y'all the kind of friends that with friends like y'all who need enemies. You know what I'm talking about? Houston, y'all wrong for that. So all of y'all on here from the Houston, if you on here from Houston and that boy still got his handlebars and he still got the speakers hanging from his handlebars, y'all wrong. 1,000% wrong. Period. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. The, the six by nines again. That's where we at. We at the six by nine. That's where we at. I just, I just had to speak on that because I know everybody been waiting on me to say something, man. Julius, what's up with it, man? I see Chicago voted for Trump, man. I saw you in the line, they vote for Trump, man. You feel what I'm saying? So now let's get to this. Let's let's get to all these Trump. We're gonna go back and forth with this Trump thing. Okay, you look at the map. Let me see. If I, I wish I could pull up the map. Can I pull up the Trump map? Because I'm gonna show you everybody that voted for Trump. Let me see if I can pull up the map. The, the map that everybody that voted for Trump to show you all the states, uh, that all the states that voted for Trump, man. Uh, we already know the, the Florida, Texas. Uh, the boy won states, man. Yeah, the boy won states. I'm talking about. Let me see. Uh, let's see. Let me see. Yeah. Philly voted for him too. Yeah, they about. Yeah, Philly about. They about wrong with all I do. So anyway, all y'all that voted for Trump, man. You know what I'm saying? All y'all talking about Hillary this, Hillary that. Well, Hillary lied. Yeah, Hillary might have lied. You know what I'm saying? But that's all right, because most of y'all get lied to and stay with the nigga anyway, too. So what difference do it make? You feel what I'm saying? So your boyfriend been lying to you for years. You ain't left. So what make you think you was going to go against Hillary? You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. That part right there, man. Illinois is blue, bro. Okay, well, let me see if Illinois is blue, man. You feel what I'm saying? It should have been black for hate him, period. But we're going to see if Illinois is blue. Uh, okay, Google. Can you show me a map with all of the people that voted for Trump? Let me see if Google got the map. Yeah, the blue and the red states. Check out these pictures. Oh, here, oh, here it go right here. Here it go right here, man. Here it go right here. Let me, let me, let me, let me blow this up for y'all. Let me see if I can get, can I get sideways on this one more time? Oh, let me, okay, here it go right here. Oh, no, this was, this is the old map. This got to be an old map right here. Because, see, this all, this is blue. Let's see. Blue is, what is this? Split electoral vote. This old. This got to be old because that's too much blue right there. That's too much blue right there. Trump got way more red than that. Let me let me see something. That's for 2016. Yeah, 2016. Okay. Okay, Google. Can you show me a map of 2016 where Trump won the states? Check out these pictures. Yeah, here we go. Now, this is more like it right here. This is more like it right here. Yeah, see? This is more like it right here. Yeah, this is more like it right here. You know what I'm saying? Get, get sideways. Turn sideways, man. You see right there? All that's red, that's my partner Trump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry about who's ever had a bad hair day. Don't worry about my bad hair day. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, Latanya. Yeah, yeah. You feel what I'm saying? You worried about a bad hair day and Trump finna throw your illegal African ass about the country. Yeah, that part. Worry about that. Worry about being having some room on the boat this time with a cushioned seat. <laughs> Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? So it's on the way, man. You better get your papers, man. You better call over to Africa right now and try to buy you a cool little hut while they got them on sale. You feel what I'm saying? Because your ass is headed back to Africa, man. It ain't for these white folks that's tired of you Negroes. You feel what I'm saying? You niggas and you niggas. They tired of y'all. They finna send y'all ass back to Africa. You think I'm playing? You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So get ready. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, I know you got your boat, but the speed boats are not allowed. You feel what I'm saying? They want that big boat. Hey. You know what I'm saying? You see, Ma? Philadelphia talking about they want the coal. They want the coal miners back. Cause see, Trump gonna have them black folks out in the cold. Oh, okay. Out there in the field, like. Philadelphia want the coal miners back, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you be ready. You get ready to have your ass out in the cold for sure. Mining somebody business. That's what you gonna do? Your coal mine that. You feel what I'm saying? So it. it's going down, man. Cause oh, what up with a D? Yeah, man, I got to get to them, man. I voted for Trump, man. They bad. I told them Trump was going to win. And I want to tell y'all this. All of y'all was talking that, you know, you got to get out and vote. I heard Steve Harvey on the radio yesterday. Everybody, let me tell you something. This shit was already rigged before you got your ass up a month ago. This was already done. Trump was already, when he when he already knew that, that's why you think he can say what he say. What you mean, man? Now, I'm going to tell you like this, man. I just talked to Trump. Trump say from now, man. Free pussy grabbing for everybody. It ain't even it ain't even illegal to grab nobody. You know what I'm saying? You can just walk up to them now. You know what I'm saying? And so if you don't want your wife pussy grab, keep her in the house. You feel what I'm saying? But all your side pieces and your number ones and twos, yeah. Don't be mad when I walk up and grab them. You know what I'm talking about? 
Yeah, we can grab that now. You know what I'm talking about? Free. You can't even call sexual harassment no more. All that shit out the window, man. It's the new Trump order. New Trump order, man. That's legal now. Hey, how you doing? <clears throat> you know what I'm talking about? And grab. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, boo, how you doing? Oh, yeah, let me get a piece of that. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? So it's going down, man. I just had to tell y'all I just had to tell y'all what it is, man. So listen, check this out, man. Listen. You woke up this morning. You went to bed mad because Trump was in the lead and all that. This shit was already designed, baby. You was the one that did not know. How y'all didn't know? Listen, listen. When the man, when the man had opportunity to even be the president, you already knew, should have knew the fix was in right then and there, man. You already should have knew, man. So, today, man, in honor of the new president, we're going to grab a pussy today, man. You know what I'm saying? Snatch you up one, man. You feel what I'm saying? You feel what I'm saying? Queen, what you doing? What you Come here, man. Come here. What? Come here, man. Let me kiss. Ah, go easy. I'm talking about <laughs> free grab pussy today. I'm telling you. Stupid. Yeah, free grab pussy today, baby. Might as well grab you one. So, lady, you might as well put it out there so they can see it. Ain't no need of you trying to hide it, man. Nigga gonna get the grab. What well, trouble is it? Ain't no more that we give you up and say, hey, boo, how you doing? <laughs> grab us a handful of pussy. It's going down. You feel what I'm saying? So, I mean, hey, man, it is what it is, man. But anyway, Houston also a whole lot of bullshit, man. All right, so, again, man, again, again, it is what it is, man. Face it, man. New world order, man. My man Trump is in the building and your life as you know it is officially over with get your papers man make sure you ain't gonna get deported back to africa india uh wherever the dark uh uh, uh mm -hmm. all the way all if you if you're dark skinned or whatever all you mix babies if you have if you if you mix with whatever you mix with that's what country you got to go back to so if you if you're part indian and black you better get your ass on the reservation somewhere because they're gonna take you they're gonna send your ass back man Trump ain't playing that shit. He finna build a wall. I just talked to my partner on the cement company. Trump just ordered 90 billion, 90 billion uh, pounds of cement. The wall is going up today. You feel what I'm saying? He's not even waiting on Obama to get out the office, man. You feel what I'm saying? Now, now let's speak on Obama. As he was watching that shit last night, he was smoking and he was pulling on one. Obama was pulling on one like, oof. <laughs> These white folk were mad at this nigga, but they finally got the crack of they woke down. You feel what I'm saying? Because when you look at the polls, when you look at the polls, man, it wasn't no black standing in line, man. First off, they knew niggas wasn't going to stand in line if it was longer than five minutes. Man, a nigga not finna wait five minutes to do nothing, man. You feel what I'm saying? If it, if it wasn't no motherfucking Jordans, man, a nigga, now for some Jordans, see that? If you wanted niggas to get out and vote, you should have put Jordans on the booth, man. You feel what I'm saying? You should have had a Jordan giveaway, man. You know what I'm saying? If you vote. You know, every 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 lucky hundred people can win a free pair of Jordans. Oh, it'd have been niggas for days, man. Niggas would have started camping out last week, man. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, niggas, that's what niggas would have started. But if it, niggas ain't finna sleep out and wait on no lines, man. You feel what I'm saying? Niggas ain't finna do that, man. We finna wait in line to vote? Man, fuck that shit. Hillary got it. She don't need my vote. You feel what I'm saying? So it is what it is, man. I'm just telling y'all some real shit, man. If they wanted niggas to vote, man. They should have put a pair of Jordans in the voting booth, man. You feel what I'm saying? You feel what I'm saying? So, talking about they voted by mail. Yeah, they voted by mail, all right. Yeah. Uh-huh, by mail order. Yeah, that, that's, yeah, okay. So, I'm going to tell y'all like this, man. It is what it is. Just get ready, man. My man Trump say he finna clean it all up. But you ain't got to worry about hate him. Hate him good, man. I already talked to the nigga, man. I'm on the executive staff, man. I got to get my wig. This this don't even make no sense. Seems like I slept on this motherfucker the wrong way or something, man. Ah, right, damn, man. It's hard to find you a good beautician, man, when you need one. But I'm going to find me one, man. I'm fine. The same person that did my sister wig. You see what I'm talking about right there? Yeah, that's what I'm going to get to do mine, man. You feel what I'm saying? Lee, 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 what up with it, man? Hubba, what up with it, man? Rose, what up with it? So anyway, man, to all of y'all that voted, just know this. Your vote counted. <laughs> you believe that shit if you want to. And to all my partners, man. That bought the stickers from me yesterday. The I voted stickers, the little Georgia Peach. I voted stickers. Appreciate that little five dollars, man. Shit, I got enough money now to go get my nails and shit done, go get my toes done, and get my wig done, man. Hey, I'm gonna be back in full effect, man. I appreciate that, man. So I ain't gonna put the list out of everybody that bought the stickers, man. You, you feel what I'm saying? You feel what I'm saying? It is what it is, man. 
So enjoy your day, man. Get ready to get up and 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 see the world. You better. You, I tell you what. You better try to ride your motorcycle for Trump getting there, cause he gonna make all that shit illegal, man. He finna kill all that, man. All that riding motorcycles across this this great state that used to be free. You finna have to pay for air. You finna have to pay to ride your motorcycle. You gonna have to pay to cross state lines and all that. They really. I just thought they really finna start geotagging niggas. They finna start putting a tag on you so they can find out where you is. When you know what I'm saying, make sure you ain't doing nothing you ain't supposed to be doing. You know what I'm saying. That's what they really finna start doing. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, uh, you, you feel what I'm saying? Oh, ain't no need to pray now for what? For what? What you wanna pray now? Yeah, ain't no need to pray. Jesus said he done when shit when Trump when Trump got elected. Jesus left. He gone too, man. You feel what I'm saying? Ain't no need to pray, man. You might well cut that out, man. Jesus gone too. When Trump got elected, Jesus packed this shit up and got on, man. You feel what I'm saying? That's how Jesus get out. Jesus don't mess with old folks and fools, man. You feel what I'm saying? Jesus, uh, Jesus say, man, look here, man. I see y'all when y'all get to heaven, man. In the meantime, I'm out of here, man. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Yes, sir, man. Ain't no need to pray now, man. It's too late to be praying. Jesus out of here, man. I saw him this morning when he was leaving. He packed up a few of his angels, man. They got on their chairs of fire and rolled out on y'all ass. I'm just telling you, man. Uh, Jesus, Jesus, I'll be back to get you, hate him. Uh, okay, man, look out for your boy, man. You know what I'm saying? But Jesus out of here. Ain't no need to pray about Jesus, man. He gone, man. You, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, he gone. It, it's a wrap, man. You, you feel what I'm saying? He all the way out of here, man. For real, man. So, anyway, deal with the shit you better deal with. Have your deportation papers in order. You better get you some ammunition. You better get you some gun. Build up your motherfucking arsenal. Build up your little gun, your bullet collection. Because this shit finna be all the way crazy right here. I'm telling you, this shit, new war order is in full effect. What you say, Chuck, man? I ain't going to be able to find no food stamps and shit. No, all that's done. All you niggas with your Obama phones, you, know, you got two more days to have them and turn them in. I got to get rid of my food stamp card and everything. Ain't no more free food. Ain't no more Obama phone. You niggas is not finna be at the grocery store talking about the free shit you buy. No more. You know what I'm saying? All that. You niggas got to get a plan, nigga. Metro or something. Ain't no more free. So all your free Obama phones, they expire in about two more days. You feel what I'm saying? So just just get ready, man. You better have your paper stacked up. Huh? And you better, let me tell you something. You know Donald Trump good at bankrupt and shit. So all your money you got in the bank, oh, he's just going to declare bankrupt and tell you to get it like Tyson. That's all he's going to do. So you better take the shit out the bank. You feel what I'm saying? And put it up under your mattress, man. That's what you need to do, man. Go, go grab your bread out the bank, man. And start, you know, peeling it in your mattress. You, you, you feel what I'm saying? And, and all that. Drug test for the EBT. Man, shit, boy. That, if they did that, nigga, would nobody be getting fight, full stamp. Because the, the white boys in the trailer parks. That, see, what y'all don't understand is this. See, Donald Trump is not for all white folks. He's just for the rich white folks. See, because the EBT program, the WIC, the county, all that shit. Man, there's more white folks that get that shit than niggas. I'm telling you some real shit. So now when he get rid of all of that. All them trailer truck, all them trailer park trash white folks, all them middle class white folks, they finna starve just like the niggas finna starve. Oh, it's finna be back to chillin', baby. It's finna be back to the field, man. It's finna be back to planting crop, man. You feel what I'm saying? You finna try to get you some dirt, man, and get you somewhere and plant you some shit, man. So don't think it's just the niggas that's on the EBTs and the whip. It's more white folks. See, they just don't show you all the numbers, man. You feel what I'm saying? And all my brothers incarcerated, power to the people. You feel what I'm saying? Power to the people. Yeah, free my peoples. I don't know what for you want to come on. I really don't know what you want to come on for. You better damn to stay. You better probably better off in prison, man. Stay your ass in prison where you at least get your three meals a day and somewhere to sleep. Because it's going to be rough out here, man. You feel what I'm saying? For a homeless nigga, it's going to be real rough, man. Black China now first lady has posted new hoes are winning. I need to start. Hey, <laughs> I've been telling y'all, man. You got to love the hoes from the beginning, man. You feel what I'm saying? You, you got to love the hoes, man, from the beginning, man. The hoes, let me tell y'all something, man. Hoes been around longer than wives. Y'all didn't know that, huh? Y'all didn't know hoes been around longer than wives? The side piece been around longer than the main piece. Oh, you didn't know? Oh, man, you better do your research and your history, man. It's been side pieces, man, for a long time. Side pieces been out winning, been out lasting the wives and all that. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, man, trust me, man. Don't believe me. Just watch. I'm trying to tell you some real shit, man. You feel what I'm saying? I just want my 40 acres in the mule. Let me tell you something. The only thing you're going to get 40, you might get you $40 in a pit bull. That's what you better find. You, you better go get you $40 in a pit bull, Frederick. You ain't getting no mule in no 40 acres. 40 acres? Man, please. I wish they would give a nigga 40 acres. John, you said you just going to ride your bike, Papa Doc? Well, you better ride it while it's free, man. 
Because Donald Trump finna tax all that shit, man. You feel what I'm saying? All that shit finna be taxed, man. You feel what I'm saying? So, Papa Doc, enjoy your motorcycle while you can, man. That shit finna be taxed. And I'm gonna tell you something right now. They do not like all these niggas on Harley Davidson's. So, if you're going to get a Harley, you better try to get you one now and, and enjoy it. Because I'm telling you, now that these white folks got control, nigga, now that the Confederates got it, oh, they finna be acting up, man. Oh, they finna be. You saw how they was doing at the, at the Trump rally, spitting on blacks and socket blacks and, and wasn't going to jail. That's an assault. How do you spit on somebody in a, in a rally or sock somebody in a rally and your ass not get arrested? Yeah, that was that some Donald Trump shit. You feel what I'm saying? I'm trying to tell you right now, man. Y'all think I'm boys. Y'all better start reading the signs, man. I'm telling you, when I saw Jesus leave this morning, I knew it was, it was all bad, man. It's going down. You know what I'm saying? He's going to let this shit self-destruct, and he's going to be back to get those that's been prayed up. I'm prayed up, man. What up, Nikki, man? Welcome. I got my sister Nikki on there, man. So anyway, man, it's all good. You should have voted for Hatem, but you didn't. You voted for Trump. You feel what I'm saying? Florida was a landslide for Trump. Houston, I mean, Texas was a landslide for Trump. So I don't know, don't nobody from Texas get on here talking about we voted for Hillary. Use a lie. Use a lie. Don't get on here from Florida talking about you voted for Hillary. Use another lie. I left Texas just in time, man. Had me a good time down there in Galveston and got my ass on. And when I leave, you niggas, y'all go to y'all true self and vote for Trump, man. You feel what I'm saying? This shit don't make no sense, man. Eagle Mark Financial going to want all the correct info now. I don't get Look here, man. If you still waiting on your credit finna be shot to shit. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Most of you niggas on here ain't had nothing but a 550, no way. A 550. And if you was a good nigga, a decent nigga, you had maybe a 605. You feel what I'm saying? 550 or 605. That's about the best you had. You feel what I'm saying? So now, guess what? They finna, Donald finna rewrite the rules. You finna keep your 550. But the new credit ranking is not 850 no more. It's going to be 1,000. Mm -hmm. So guess where you're going to be with your 550 and your 605? Mm. All the way down, brother. Let me tell you something. And a lot of you motherfuckers going in there talking about you want to get credit. When they run your name, you better run out the goddamn store because that's what's going to happen. They're going to lock your ass up, man. I'm trying to tell you. Robert Ramsey, uh, you my partner, homie. You know damn well you black as a motherfucker. If I was you... I would start trying to call over to Africa and get me a hut. Because ain't no way in the world you're going to pass for an American citizen. Nigga, you is a motherfucking Mandingo warrior for real. Nigga, you is African. Y'all need to look. Have y'all seen Robert Ramsey? Boy, my nigga, I love my nigga to death. But you talking about uh, black? The only difference between that nigga and Midnight is 1159, man. I promise you, man. That nigga black is a motherfucker. Trust me. Shout out to my man, Robert Ramsey. But pack your shit and get on before they catch you. At least if you pack it for they get on, you get to take what you want. If they catch you, you got to take what's on you. You feel what I'm saying? I'm trying to tell you, man. Get your ass back to Africa immediately. You feel what I'm saying? It's going to be all bad for all you real super dark black niggas. See, at least I got some kind of American. See, this is the difference. You got American black and then you got African black. You niggas that's African black. You know what I mean now. There's a difference between a nigga that's American black. And African, matter of fact, no rules, no dudes got a nigga. What's my nigga in there that's uh, African black? You feel what I'm saying? Oh, no rules, no dudes. They got my nigga. My, and, and good, and see, that's the thing about it. They good niggas, though. Ain't nothing wrong with them. They good niggas. They just African black. And you is the niggas that got to go. All you African black niggas. If you see, I'm American black. See this right here? This American black. Yeah, I've been, I got some kind of mix or something. You, you feel what I'm saying? I got some type of mix somewhere up in me, somewhere, man. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's up in there. But you African black niggas, I'm talking about you niggas that's so black, when you touch charcoal, you leave fingerprints. You know what I'm talking about? I'm talking about you niggas that's the only difference between you and Midnight is 1159. You niggas is out of here, man. Y'all might well pack y'all shit and leave, you feel what I'm saying, before they come get you. I'm telling you right now, they finna round up all the legal aliens, all the Mexicans, if you have breeds, all of the all of the Europeans, all of you, you know what I'm saying? And I hate to say this, don't don't think I'm Muslim, I'm bashing, but all you Muslims and all that, y'all asses is out of here, man. And all you African blacks, I'll holler at you, man. I'm trying to, oh yeah. You better keep your guns with you, man. You better stock up, man. You feel what I'm saying? You better stock up, man, for real, man. I'm trying to tell you. Greg Street, ooh, you black as a motherfucker. You know you out of here, man. I promise you, I got a call the other day. 
The nigga called. It was on the news. They said uh, uh, they, uh, it was a motorcycle just going down the street with nobody riding it, man. It was kind of a little dark. I said, no, that's Greg Street. He going cross country, man. He had on his all black. You know, he was all blacked out with the black, the black heated gear with the black jacket and all that with the black gloves. You feel what I said? It had the helmet on. They thought it was a goddamn invisible alien riding his motorcycle. I said, no, that's G Street, man. He's taking the world to it, man. You feel what I'm saying? They was finna, they, boy, they, they thought it was, they thought it was, it was over with, man. You feel what I'm saying? They, they had never seen no shit like that. You, you feel what I'm saying? So, uh, I'm just saying, man, Greg Street, African black. My man Robert Ramsey, African black. Uh, it's a few niggas I can name that's African black. I miss you, homie. I love you. You feel what I'm saying? Free my African black brothers. Free them. Get them off the boat. Get, please, get them off the boat, man. Free my African black brothers, man. You feel what I'm saying? So, anyway, that that's what it is, man. You should have voted for Hatem, but you voted for Trump. So, it, it, it's going down, man. I don't want to hear the shit. Don't call me crying about the shit. I don't give a damn. You feel what I'm saying? You, you, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is, man. And I'm telling you right now, man. I'm telling you right now, man. Grab you some ammunition, nigga. Because it's, 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 I'm telling you, you finna have to start killing niggas, man. And if you ain't got nowhere to go, stay your ass in the house, man. Ride your motorcycle while you can. Trump done won. That's all I can tell you. You feel what I'm saying? You should have voted for Hayden, but you voted for Trump. Uh, Texas, Trump lovers. Florida, y'all, all of y'all in Florida voted for Trump. Everybody in Texas voted for Trump. They say only two people voted for Hillary, and they can't even find them no more. You feel what I'm saying? And that's why I say, I already knew this shit was going to be rigged because the line, did you see the lines, the, the, the wait lines to vote? That's why I was selling stickers outside the line. Nigga, I had, I had picked me up a roll of stickers. I, I voted stickers. Nigga, I made about $1,000 yesterday, nigga. About a thou wow selling I voted stickers yesterday, babe. You feel what I'm saying? Because I already knew when nigga, niggas ain't finna wait no line for five minutes. You can buy tickets to a concert. And if you get there the line too long, your ass talking like, hey, fuck that shit, man. But it's Jody C. They don't stay. Hey, man. Jody C. ain't worth me standing in no five, ten, ten minute line, man. And they didn't have no concession booths with no hot dog, no popcorn, mm -hmm. and no nothing for a nigga to eat with nothing to drink. Man, please. Nigga wasn't standing in line. I told you like that. I told my dad, I said, Dad, look at man. If they wanted niggas to vote, they should have put a pair of Jordans in the voting booth. Oh, niggas would have started camping out three months ago, man. You feel what I'm saying? We got a new election Jordan coming out. The Jordan 23 election series, uh, the, the election shoot. Man, niggas would have been in line. Niggas would have been in line three months ago, man. You feel what I'm saying? I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I'm just telling you some real shit, man. I'm telling you some real shit, man. If they had it came out with a Jordan election. See, that's what I'm trying. I, I can't keep telling y'all my marketing strategies. That's what I'm trying to tell. I called Hillary. I said, Hillary, listen, here, listen, here, check, here, check this out. Here, check this out. Here, listen, bitch, calm down here. Calm down. Listen, I know I'm calling you on your private line, bitch. I got all the line. I know everybody number, bitch. Hold on, calm down here. Here, here, check this out. I got a campaign strategy for you. If you really want to win this shit, you feel what I'm saying? You need to call your boy Jordan, get with him, and, and, and come out with an election Jordan. You feel what I'm saying? And you tell everybody, one out of every hundred or fifty or so niggas that vote will qualify to win this election Jordan. You feel what I'm saying? Oh, bitch, it should have been a landslide. Hillary Clinton would have been president. Y'all would have been praising the first female aide president. You know what I'm saying? The whole nine y'all. I promise you, shit, Donald, Donald Trump wouldn't have had not nine, not nine chance of winning today. Not nine chance. But they don't ever listen to me. Everybody think, oh, hate them crazy, hate them stupid, hate them funny. Keep on thinking I'm crazy, stupid, and funny if you want to. You feel what I'm saying? I'm trying to tell you some real shit, man. You feel what I'm saying? I'm trying to tell you some real shit. But Hillary didn't want to listen. That Guess what? That's why her ass sitting on the sideline now. Yeah. Yeah, you back there and, and fucking with Bill and his hoes now. Now you, now you, back, to the, uh, now you back to the bottom, bitch. Yo, oh, Bill got hoes. Oh, Bill got hoes, man. Oh, Bill got hoes, man. Oh, Bill got hoes, man, for real, man. You feel what I'm saying? You should have listened to me, Hillary. You'd have been a bad bitch. You'd have been on top. But no. But no. You didn't want to listen. You didn't want to come up with the election, Jordan. So that's why your ass lost. You, you feel what I'm saying? What'd you say, John? What is this nigga try? Black men, 5%. Black women, 7% voting. They said up. They said on their hands. Now it's winners and we got to deal with the four years. Oh, four years, nigga. Man, do you know what's finna, what the world finna be like in four years with this nigga in, the, in office? Nigga, you better enjoy this year. If you get 2017. If you can get 2017 in, you better enjoy. You better do everything you want to do within the next year. By the time, uh, by the time uh, uh, my man O get out of office, by the time O and Shell leave, 
You know what I'm saying? And that shit wind down and he get in there and get to know him where all the little secret offices is and all the shit. By 2018, oh, it's in trouble, nigga. You better ride your motorcycle. Next year, it better be so many niggas on their motorcycle riding across country and seeing shit because you ain't going to get to see the all that shit finna be over with. You ain't finna get to ride. You're not finna get to see nothing. Donald finna shut all that shit down. When I said that nigga building a wall, that nigga building a wall around South Central LA, that nigga building a wall around Houston, all the projects and shit, all the low income, they're going to have walls built around them. Oh, you thought he was building a wall to keep the Mexicans out. Yeah, he is. He's doing that, but he's building a wall to keep the niggas out, too, out of their white folks' establishment. You feel what I'm saying? He building a wall. It's going to be walls put up all around y'all neighborhoods and shit. That's why I live with the white folk. Yeah, we got on in with the white folk. You feel what I'm saying? You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You feel, you feel what I'm saying? So, we got on in with the white mm-hmm. folks. But if you live if you live around any black folks, you better move because they're going to build a wall around y'all shit right now. This shit going to be epic, I'm telling you. Ain't no more going outside and being free and all that shit, man. You feel what I'm saying? Oh, oh y'all, you think you're going to kill Donald? They ain't, they ain't killed Donald yet. They ain't killed Donald yet. And now the nigga got his partners, man. The Secret Service. Got to protect him at all costs. They got to take a bullet for him. You can cut that bullshit out, man. They not finna kill Donald, man. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. They not finna do it, man. Yeah, I'm just telling you. So get all your money out the bank because he finna, he finna file bankruptcy on all that, man. You, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, hate him a house. Okay, well, so now you mad at me because I don't want to be in the sun. I'm a house nigga. Okay, so now you mad at me. Okay, fuck it. I don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck. Let's, one thing about hate him, he don't give a fuck what you say about him. He don't give a fuck at all. You feel what I'm saying? Don't give a fuck. So nephew... You know, take your house nigga comment and ee, 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 ee. oh, you might you know why you mad? Cause you one of them African black niggas too. Oh yeah, nephew, I forgot nephew. You one of them African black. You finna get your ass deported too. Matter of fact, I'ma go and kick the campaign off. All African black niggas need to go. You feel what I'm saying? All you 1159 niggas need to get y'all ass up out of here, buddy. You, you feel what I'm saying? All y'all need to go and get gone and be gone. You feel what I'm saying? I'm trying to tell you. All you American blacks. Hey, we good, man. If you're American black, you good. But all you African black niggas, y'all out of here with the Mexicans. Y'all out of here with the uh, Iranians. Y'all out of here with the Chinese. Y'all out of here, man. All you, so get ready to pack your I'm telling you, if you pack your shit now and stay ready when they grab you, you won't, you know, you get to take your memorabilia and all that shit. But if they catch your ass before you get ready, you feel what I'm saying? That's going to be your ass, Mr. Postman. So anyway, man, it's your boy Hater, man. I got to get up out of here and go get my wig done, man. You feel what I'm saying? Hey, man. Donald, man. We love Donald. We love Donald. Donald going to get you niggas ass deported. Keep on fucking around with the, with the get out again. To all my people, man. The, if you want to know the difference between American mm-hmm. black and African black, it's simple. You look at midnight. Look how black midnight is. And if a nigga land about 1159, 1158, he African black. Them, that's the only difference between... Uh, 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 most of the African black niggas in Midnight is 1159. That's the only difference between them and Midnight. Yeah, so if you know a nigga that's African black, African black, you know what I'm saying, you better pack his shit up because his ass is out of here, man. I promise you, man. Period. So all my 1159 brothers, power to you. Hold on to the boat. Make sure you get a good seat on there. Make sure you get one with a cushion because I heard that wood got splinters. You feel me? Anyway, back to Africa. That's the new thing, man. What'd you say, Tim? What people fail to realize is that Minorities have not been responsible for counting how many people on the planet I mean, located, how many votes actually hit. Man, listen, man, if you still talk about your vote counted, if you really do think that your vote counted, you feel what I'm saying? Use a goddamn fool, man. That shit was already rigged. And again, don't forget, like my boy nephew say, because Donald Trump in now, ladies, do not get mad when I walk up and say, hey, how you doing? I hock up and I grab that pussy. It's now legal, baby. You feel what I'm saying? Donald Trump made pussy grabbing legal, man. You feel what I'm saying? Oh, they love it. What do he say? Oh, they love it. They 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 be waiting for me to do it. You know what I'm saying? I'm on that Donald Trump shit, man. You feel what I'm saying? They so don't bring your lady out. Keep all wives stay home. You the minority anyway. Holes and side pieces is winning anyway. So all you wives stay home. Stay where you supposed to be at. Barefoot, naked, and in the kitchen. You feel what I'm saying? And let the holes and the side pieces, you know, get that pussy grabbed up. Ah. You know, don't, don't be mad at me, Donald. That's the new Donald Trump law. This is what it is. I'm just saying. What you mad at me for, man? You feel what I'm saying? So, again, man, again, enjoy your day, man. 
Trump for president is the man. And don't forget, man. Show some love. Oh, and grab a pussy today, baby. It's your boy Adam Beckett. <laughs> I'm gone, man. I'm gone, man.